What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Rating Climb. We're going to try to go to 2025. Let's jump into a game. And it's going to start to get more difficult here as we play these stronger players. Yeah, 2100. Let's play E5. Stick with the usual stuff here. I don't want to try to get too fancy. Defending the pawn and developing a piece at the same time. Scotch game. All right, we're going to take it. I guess let's just play the main line, attacking the knight. Bishop e3 is pretty common, or taking here. Uh, knight to b3, hmm. I don't think that's one of the common lines, but I think it is a move. I'm not really familiar with it, so we'll have to see how this turns out. I guess we just go back here. Looks like the most logical thing to do. And... I don't know what the point is if white's going to try to do this and attack our bishop or what exactly the idea behind this move is, but seems like my bishop's pretty good on this diagonal, just putting pressure there. Okay, he's going to attack this way. Um, I'm thinking about just developing the knight. What happens if e5, though, is the question. I can take it. Do I get into trouble? Looks like I would have time to play queen e7 and be okay, so I don't think that's a problem. There's also bishop g5, which is a little bit of an annoying pin, but I would be able to castle. This knight could jump in here, but I would have some time to react to that. Question is, how dangerous is this pin, right? Because a lot of times you have the option of playing bishop e7. In this case, I don't have that because my bishop has been relocated over here, so I do want to think through this. Oh, there's also the... No, bishop g5, I guess, just falls for a tactic. So we would take and take and grab the... Okay, so I think we're okay. So let's play knight of six. I don't think he can play bishop g5 right now. After castling, then it does become uh, a possibility. Yes, so now bishop g5 could be played, I think. Okay. Hmm. So I'm, I'm thinking about castling, but I'm also thinking about what happens after bishop g5. If I don't castle... Then I maybe have h6 and g5. Um, I forgot to put the chat over here, actually. Do that real quick. Um, so let's see. They could also play a move like maybe d6. Looks pretty good. Just delaying castling by one move. Hey, Nihilus is back with the five memberships. Thank you. Yeah, I think I am going to just delay for one move. And the reason is, like I said, I want to be able to potentially be aggressive here and attack the king a little bit, maybe with my pawns. But I'd rather not be castled there. That makes sense. I'd rather... Yeah, here we go. So I'm thinking now h6, forcing white to make the decision. And I think I'm okay with this. And then we can probably even develop this bishop somewhere and maybe even just castle the other way. So let's go ahead. I think that's a good plan. Let's try this. And here we go. Let's do it. G5. So we're going to be aggressive here. And I'm even thinking about just H5 right away. I'm okay here right now. This is not really a threat to me. So I think we can get away with just being very aggressive. We also have this pin. So F4 is not a move. I'm going to play it right away and put the pressure on white here. And I don't have to castle this way. I could also just maybe tuck my king on f8. Sometimes that's a safe safe enough square to get out of the e-file, right? And, and we'll see what happens. But right now, white has a problem that I'm about to trap the bishop. So I'm expecting h3 or h4. And then we will see what we're going to do at that point. Yeah, h4, I don't know if I want to take that and then get pinned again. So I might play rook g8. I could push by. I guess we could even consider a move like bishop g4 here with a tempo first. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, bishop g4, the queen's got to move somewhere. I don't know where. Probably maybe d3. I could also play knight here. Why would I do that? Well, then if this captures, I have a queen that can come here. And I would be threatening to actually take this, which could be an annoying way to attack. So yeah, maybe knight g4, 
bishop g4. G4 locks it up, right? We've talked about this. We don't really want to lock it up when I'm trying to attack because I can't, my rook's never going to get into the game that way. So, really leaning towards this one of knight g4. I do lose control of the square, though. Is that is that a, a big deal? It might be a big deal, actually. But I have bishop e6. Who's a pawn? Hmm. Bishop g4 also is very tempting. Maybe rook, uh, rook g8 we talked about too. Looks pretty good because then I can immediately activate the rook here and start setting up some nice little tactics. What's white going to do? White's probably going to try to play knight c3 and do something like this. Okay, so lots of options here. What are we going to do? Queen d5 is the only move that kind of scares me a little bit. But bishop e6 takes. Takes. I don't really want to trade queens, although he still would get a decent attack. Definitely don't want to do this. That looks way too dangerous. Maybe it's playable, though, but rook g8. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go rook g8. I, I like the idea of getting the rook involved. And I still have bishop g4 if I need it, and I can still play this in the future. And so let's just hold on to those moves right now and, and activate the rook. I think this is smart. Bishop g4, even just like queen move and then castling also is nice because then my king is real safe and I can use the other rook to help attack. Problem is it's pretty slow. I'm trying to do something a little bit quicker. We already do have quite a few pieces that are that are kind of lined up towards the king here, right? I mean, look at this. So I think now is actually a good time. This knight, right, is not on this side of the board. It's been migrated over here. So you can see a lot of white's pieces are on this side of the board. So that's why I'm thinking it's it's a good time to Keep the pressure up and attack the king over here. Why is knight takes e4? Well, knight takes e4 might be okay, but generally speaking, when you put a piece in line with your king like that and it gets pinned, it's very dangerous. Now, yes, I could try to defend it somehow with like f5 and maybe that's playable, but it, the knight comes out and I, I start feeling like I'm going to get into big trouble with my king there. So that's why I'm trying to avoid that. As long as white has the pawn there, the rook or queen can't ever really attack my king, right? You can't go through your own pieces. So that's the idea. Rook e1, maybe he wants to play e5. Okay. So again, we have knight g4, bishop g4. We can take this now to open up the rook. We do walk into the pin, but then we could immediately play something like bishop h3. He could defend this way, though. Bishop g4, where's the uh, queen going to go? Bishop e2 or queen moves somewhere? Is that really where I want my bishop, though? What if I take and play rook g4? What happens there? Mm-hmm. Bishop has to make a decision. If it goes back, then we hit him with h4, and that looks real good. So he's probably going to trade, but that just activates my queen very nicely. Yeah, I like the look of that. I might actually just take and play rook g4. I might do that. Let's go ahead. I want to make some moves here, I'm spending a lot of time. So let's go ahead and do that and play rook g4. Attacking this. Um, really just, you know, the bishop's kind of awkward now, because if you go back, boom, h4 happens. So I think he's going to trade. But now I don't have to worry about the pin. The queen is now in the attack, right? We have some immediate threats here. And I guess g3 could be played now that I'm looking at it. But that, I don't know, that looks bad. I would probably sacrifice and then jump my knight in. And the queen's coming over here. Probably going to get checkmate. So I think white has to, I don't know what white has to do. It looks unpleasant for white, actually. Looks unpleasant.
Zach the Rook. Yeah, we might be doing that. I mean, on G3, I pretty much have to do that, right? That's like the only way to continue the attack that I see. I am attacking his pawn, but I don't, I don't really care about the pawn. Like I already mentioned, I don't want to open up my king like that. I want to focus over here on this side of the board. What would white do if they trade? What would they do to defend? I don't know. They have to deal with this. That's a big threat. Okay, queen e2. So, we can jump the knight in, which looks very nice. I don't want to grab this. That's just a pawn. I don't care about a pawn. I don't think we can do the... Uh, actually, hold on a second. Queen g5. The king can't go there or you get checkmated. So that's interesting. The king has to go this way. Which allows me to do what? Check. Force the king back. Huh. Bishop g4 castles. It's almost a good move. But maybe it's too ambitious. Maybe I just need to play a simple move like knight here for now. Because that's also very powerful. Yeah, okay. This might be... Might be the best move. I don't know, but this seems like a safer option. Since I'm getting lower on time, we'll go with this one. Still a very good move. Threatening some very dangerous things here for white. But I'm definitely keeping an eye on this sacrifice. Definitely. Especially if I was already castled and had the other rook to follow up, that would, that would be game over. But a few moves behind on that. But what's white going to do? Probably go here. Because it deals with both of these threats. And then what am I going to do? Okay, wasn't not expecting that. I think we're going to play c6 to gain a tempo. I like tempos, especially in positions like this, where I'm trying to attack quickly. These tempos are huge. So that's kind of like a wasted move. Hey, Robin, thank you. All right, so we, we got that bishop out of there. Ooh, we could even just go here and win a rook. That's the easy thing. But also sack the rook and play bishop g4. Also looks like it's totally winning. Oh, yeah, that looks so nice, doesn't it? Bishop g4, oof. So does this. Looks really good, too. Now nah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun here. I could have just taken the, the exchange, but no, we're going to go for some cool checkmate. There's got to be something here. We'll probably see it later. Let's go ahead and, and migrate the queen over. We already talked about this, so the king has to stay on the age file. I'm going to just move my queen forward before I bring the bishop in. I think it's going to be a little useful for me to move it up the board a bit. But he's got to go here or here. And we're going to go check again. And now I'm going to follow up with... Ooh, I could even go here now because he goes to g2. Oh, I could also just go here and win the queen. Yeah, that's pretty pretty straightforward, isn't it? We'll just do that. Maybe bishop g4 is even better, but I'll take the queen and be happy. So we have this. Not worried about that. This one is checkmate. All right, good game to our opponent. Three mistakes, so we missed something. But overall, pretty pretty nice game. Let's check the game review. Can you close the door, please? Thanks. Put it here. There. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.
Close the door. Thank you. My daughter uh, had to say a few things. All right. 92. All right. Pretty good. Um, so let's take a look at the game here. Let me put the eval bar on. No, please stop. Okay, talk to her about it. Talk to her about it. Um, what was I doing? Okay. Didn't like that move. Don't know why. Let's see. It wanted me to play 95. Okay. 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 G8 was pretty good. I did like knight g4. Yep, knight g4 was the best. So I was afraid of this move. And Stockfish says no. That's f oh. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. In my mind, I was thinking I was losing a pawn. I totally forgot. I'm actually winning a bishop. Remember I was when I was thinking through that? I was like, oh, I'm just worried about this. Yeah. If I would have realized that. I think I would have played knight g4. Just missed that idea. Okay, well, good to know. But rook g8 wasn't like a terrible move, just not quite as strong. And then rook g4, is that the best move? Yes, it was. Okay, cool. We need two. Hey, what do you think the best move is, guys? Rook takes g2. Rook takes g2. Yep, could have done it right away. But this one was also pretty good, and then... Brilliant. Yep. It does lead to a checkmate. Which... I decided to take the queen, but there's a checkmate here after bishop h3. King, let's just say, goes here. The knight comes in. Yeah. And then you just have this. Cool. Alright, so very, pretty nice game. All right, let's play. All right, it's a wild time in our house right now. Okay, I'm going to play another game here. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Hold one. Okay. What was I doing? New game, right? Kids. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> okay. Here we go. French defense. Oh, I don't like the French defense. Well, you know what we could do against the French defense? That I think I might do. I might play, ooh, that, ooh, wasn't expecting that one. Okay, 97. We could play like a King's Indian setup. Let's see what he's going to do next first. Let's see. Nah, what is this, the cow or whatever? Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll play a King's Indian setup. It immediately shuts down the knight, so why not? I could play h4 and just ask the question of what exactly is the knight doing there? Let's do it. We'll keep in the in the style of playing aggressively. Oh, oh, we're going to make the knight go to h8. We're going to make it go to h8. All right. <laughs> okay. Now he's going to try to play d5. So we could just push by. Looks very nice. I have a lot of space. Black does not have much space. Look at the knight in the corner. Let's go ahead. I don't want to open things up and let the bishop out. No, close the door, please. You may not keep opening the door. Close the door. Um, what was I? Well, I don't know what I was thinking about. 
maybe this. But then black's going to push by. But if they push by, just look at that. I mean, just look at the knight. Just look at the knight. So I, I'm tempted to actually play that. Normally, you don't want to allow them to... to lock up the position. But in this case, with the knight stuck there, I might actually make an exception to that rule. Black's going to try to break with f6. That's their only break. Yeah, this is really interesting. Uh, do I wait or do I do it? I don't know. Don't know. I could just wait a little bit. Now nah, let me go ahead. I think the knight's going to be so bad there. This might be good. And then maybe we can take advantage of this. Okay. Now if I can get g5 in, black's really in trouble. The problem is as soon as I play g4, they're going to play f6 or f5. I think, and I won't be able to get it in, in time. Bishop h3. I really, I really want to make two moves at the same time. All right, let's see. F6. Do we have any moves here? Bishop F4. Could just start with Bishop F4. Yeah, let me just do that, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to play F6 right now. I'm pretty sure. Oh, F5. Kind of the same idea, I guess. I think I'm going to take because I want to be able to target this. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Um, I think I'm going to take it. I don't know. Kids are, are having a rough time today. All right. Yeah, the knight's going to escape, though. That's one thing I don't like about this. Let me go ahead and play queen e2. Lining up here, getting ready to castle this way. And we're going to see what we can do. Right. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and castle. And I still think our position looks very nice. We have a clear target here. So probably this rook and this bishop. Maybe even the knight if we need it. And I don't know how black's going to save that. Okay, they want to try to do something over there. I mean, I'm not really concerned about that. Yes, it, it will allow black to do some things, so I could deal with that in a number of ways. But if they're really going to give up that, that bishop... Then this is, is very good for me. So I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to go here. They're going to try to jump the knight in, though. So maybe I should play knight g5 because it stops that. They take me. I'm happy about that. I'm going to try to take. Yeah, let's do that actually instead. See what I'm I'm looking at this, right? And I don't want the knight to just be a problem for me, so this way it actually stops that. I still get pressure on the pawn. And we can do this later if we need to. Sorry, if we need to. Okay, they take, so now we have the pin. They can trade here if they want. Queen a5, it's a little bit annoying, but
what happens if I go here? I'm just wondering. The idea is I want to take the knight. The other idea is I want to checkmate the king. Followed by this, or by what? Or I just take it, I go here. Mm. Queen e5, I'm okay because I have this. Is there going to be perpetual check? No, there's not. So queen e5, I guess knight e8 maybe, but then that's got to be a good position for me. Bishop h3. Great. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go on the offensive here. Let's go on the offensive. <sighs> can also go queen c7. No, I don't want to go to c7. I definitely don't want to go there. Okay, so he does do that. So, bishop here is a very good threat. I say it's a very good threat. It's, it's an okay threat. Maybe I, I do want to take a moment to defend this. Ah, oh, there's the rook coming in. I'm wondering if I should take time to do this. Because by taking that pawn, I actually free up Black's position a little bit. Since I don't have an immediate follow-up, I would need my bishop to be here to do that. I could defend this this way, or I could play king to d2. No, but this one we already talked about. This, if the rook comes in... Do I want to stop this? Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's play f4. I want to shut down the rook. Uh, I have a solution to this. I'm going to play rook d3, so that's fine. And then we go here with our king. This is defended. Here we go. Here we go. Then my king's pretty safe. I've shut down the rook. Now I can take my time and go here and do stuff like this. And and I think we're going to get to the king. I was I was thinking a while because I really wasn't sure if I wanted to allow that or not. And if I wanted to allow this or not. And if I had a more immediate thing after this. But the problem is... I'll tell you the problem in a minute. Okay, queen b4. So now I think we go here. Oh, he wants to play. He wants to play queen d six. Hmm. I didn't see that. Probably a good move. Yeah, I didn't really want to trade queens, but. I'm still going to have this long-term weakness to attack, so I think we're still fine, but... I think it's going to be f5. It's a question of, do I play g4 first, or do I just go for it right away after knight c7? I think we just go for it because we're coming in this way. Ah, but then King G. No, we have. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I 
Check the king escapes. King escapes, unless I have... Yeah, maybe it escapes. So I think I have to play G4. Man, too low on time. I wanted to think about that some more, but I can't. I can't. That's the threat. I don't know what's happening here because my bishop's going to be hanging at the end of everything. That's kind of the problem. Too low on time.
Can I blame my can I blame my kids for this for this loss? Can I do that? I needed those extra seconds. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, I think we just messed that up though. I think we had a great position that we just kind of ruined, honestly. It's okay. I love my kids. They didn't know I was streaming. 77, 75. Okay, whatever. That guy's opening was terrible, by the way. <laughs> Barack is back. Hey. Unfortunately, I don't actually get paid for those memberships, but thank you anyway. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get a little bit, but it's not like the normal conversion. Anyway, yeah, so this guy's playing all these terrible moves. Maybe h6 wasn't a good idea. Let's see. Oh, h6 is pretty good. It's, it's, engine likes it. It was right here. Huh. It's amazing that this position wasn't better than I, it wasn't as good as I thought it was, basically. Huh. How about that? Right here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, eval bar, eval bar. Watch this, guys. Watch this. So first of all, I needed to go check. Because I'm just winning the piece right here. I don't even have to take it. I'm just winning a piece just like that, which I missed. So that's one thing. Okay, pretty obvious. Then even here... This is a blunder. Oh, oh, you know why? Because when I take the... Okay, you guys think about it. Why is this a blunder? Why is this a blunder? There's one move that's really good, and this is a blunder. Why is that, a, that the case? Who knows why? Hey, thanks, Brock. <laughs> Let me update my losses. I got six losses. Who can explain why, what the problem with taking? Yeah, Rufus guy has it. Yeah. The problem is you open up the G6 square. And why, why do we care? Because when I go here to fork these guys, it's not really any good for me because I'm losing my bishop. Yes, I could take the knight as we saw in the game, but I lose my bishop. If I go here right away, king has to go back. You can't go to G6. Doesn't really matter. Wherever it goes back, now I can trade first. I get the knight, I keep the bishop, it's an easy win. That was ver that was very simple. I just, yeah, I didn't, in my mind, I was like, yeah, I'll just trade this first and then I'll go here. A and I totally forgot about the g6 square. Big, big mistake. And now it's an end game that I'm, I'm actually worse in. I'm fighting to try to draw here with 30 seconds on the clock, you know, worse end game. Yeah, I didn't know what to do here because if I don't get my king in front of this pawn, like, if, if Black was smart, they would have probably just cut my king off and started pushing these guys down, and I'm going to have problems. So I was trying to get my king in front. And then, yeah, maybe this was a mistake, probably, because my pawn was actually safe here because the rook can't come down. But as soon as I put it here, it could easily be attacked. And then, I don't know, maybe I needed to just start pushing this right away. No, and, and there wasn't really anything to do. Engine just says... Black's better in a lot of these lines. Yeah, and then I didn't have time to do anything. Okay. Oh, well. Now I'm tilted. We got to play another game now. Hold on. I got to take... I just got to... I need to take like a two-minute break. I need to clear my head, and then we'll come back. A little bit upset that we lost to that opening. How do I draw arrows so quickly? Like this. Uh, it's just a razor, what is this, razor, 
can't remember. I had, I've had a couple of Razer. I think this is the Bacillus, maybe? It's a wireless Razer. Good experience with it, anyway. All right, give me two minutes, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Let's jump into another game. See if we can get some points back here. Knight C3, I think, is... Uh, I think we can take it and fork them, I believe, is a, is a line here. So basically, let me do this one. You lose a piece temporarily. Oh, he's going to play this gambit thing. Okay. This is like the, uh, what is this, like the Stafford Gambit backwards. I think that's pretty dangerous to accept it. So what I might do instead is just go here. Because once you do that, the bishop's coming out, then the, all the files are open. Very dangerous. I think this is safer. Might not be as good, but I'll err on the side of being safer at this moment. So let's see, he wants to take and take my pawn back. I'm probably fine with. I think I'm gonna allow that and just get my king to safety. So let's go here. And sometimes this is the best way to play. You Maybe you get a pawn, but you can give it back if it gets you into a nice position. Okay, now he's gonna play d4, interesting. I think I'm just gonna take and castle. I don't know why not. I guess I could play e4, allow this, take, take, and then play d5. Also looks pretty nice. Let's say we take, take, turn, 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 dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Okay, let's try this one. I'm, I'm basically thinking, how do I want to potentially give back the pawn to help clear up my position? And I think this way makes a lot of sense. He can take it. Take, and now we get to play d5. And why is this so nice? Well, because it lets out my bishop. 
and my position's not so cramped anymore. I can develop and do what I need to do. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Now it's a question of where do we put the bishop? Let's go with g4. We'll go ahead and create the pin. And then we'll go back. If I mean, I could take it and take the pawn. But do I really care that much about that pawn? I mean, it is a pawn. Hmm. This also looks good because it's an annoying pin. He doesn't want to play g4. That's too weakening. So both of these moves look pretty good. Let's go with this one. We'll just keep the annoying pin. Could have won the pawn, like I said, but I don't know. I'm afraid of winning pawns right now and my king is just in the center. I think I need to get the safety. Go queen d7. Giving myself options. I can castle either way here, really. Barack. 100 memberships. Thank you. <laughs> Update the win. Is it 234? Thanks. I haven't been paying attention, obviously. All right, so if the queen moves away, by the way, we have this, and then the queen jumps into here, so that's not going to be good for white. Um, probably going to be castling this way and throwing the pawns forward, checkmating the king. That's the plan. That's the plan, yep. So he goes there. Let's go ahead. Now white can attack me too, so it should be an interesting game. You do have to watch out for this, but I'm, you know, G4, I'm probably going to just sack, or even just going back here does defend against this. Wow. I don't think that's a good move. Question is, how do I best proceed? I think we just go back, and then we play H5 and, and attack, attack. He wants to jump in here. f6 just to shut down the knight i could play here which one which one which one let's go here we'll just shut it down shut it down permanently and now i'm going to play h5 and look at white's king look at white's king okay There's two ways to do this. Um, I can play king b8 and take with the pawn to keep queens on the board. That looks relatively safe. Or I can just play h5, take back with the queen, allow the queen trade, and we keep attacking even though queens are off the board. I'd like to leave queens on the board, I think. So I'm going to play king here. I'm going to take this way. Why didn't I take the pawn on g4? Because after the trade, takes, 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 check. Sorry, takes, 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 check. The bishop just goes back here, and I don't have, I don't, didn't have an immediate follow up. Okay, for key one, I wasn't gonna take that way anyway, but that's fine. We're gonna play h5, and. We're going to try to checkmate the king here. Ah, uh, and this, hmm, starting to get interesting now, isn't it? I think I want to play bishop e4. Why? Because it shuts down the rook, also gives me more threats when I take here. So let's go ahead and do that and attack the knight getting in position for stuff like this. And also, if the knight just moves, then I can even just grab this right away. He doesn't even have enough pieces defending it. Just keep taking all the pawns. Yes, we have to be a little careful. Yeah, a little careful of what's going on over here. But like I said before, I think I'm pretty safe here. I can tuck my king in the corner, 
and white's kind of out of pieces, right? It's only the queen. The other pieces are not coordinating with the queen, so this is probably fine. Oh, update the member goal? Oh, yeah. What is it, 583? Okay. What if I take here? No, then that happens. I guess we do take it. All right. I didn't think about that, but I still feel pretty good about my position. Well, we don't want to let the knight come in, so we're going to take that for sure. And I'm going to go here and try to get checkmate. He's going to sack, and then he's going to take this, and he's going to try to say that he has some compensation, but I don't think it's enough. Okay, so check. Ooh, this is almost checkmate, but this happens. So close. So close. I'm gonna have to take a move to defend, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to defend. Check, we go here. Uh hold on, no. I want to defend, but then there's a perpetual check, I think. So I'd have to go here. There's a check. I go here. Check. I go here. Check. I go here. I lose that. I take this, or I take it right away, but then I get forked. He's gonna take me, I go here. Queen doesn't have any good square, that's, hmm. Or, if I don't like that, I go back with the queen. Three, four, five, three, four, five. That's gonna be winning, but. Takes. Back there. Hmm. Yeah, it's too bad. I guess I have to do... Although he's going to get another pawn. No, I'm going to go... I'm going to do this line. I'm going to do this one. He's going to get... He's going to get a, a rook. He's going to be able to trade his bishop for his rook. But at the end of everything, I think I'm going to have a better attack on the king. So we're going to go for this line. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna take it. He's gonna take it. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna take my rook and I'm gonna move my king here. Not gonna have any checks, and his king's about to be checkmated if I can figure out how to get my rook involved. So I think that's okay for me. That's what's about to happen. You ready? You guys ready? No, rook to h6. Uh, I think I'm getting, probably getting checkmated. Uh, yeah, this is going to be too strong. I have to move here. Check. Oh, uh, let's checkmate. Yeah, let's just mate. Just get mated immediately. How many moves ahead? I don't know how many, but... It, oh. He must have not saw the bishop f6 move. That's probably why he didn't play that. We'll look at it later. Okay, so now rook h6 is a different story. Now rook h6 probably just wins on the spot. I don't even know if I have to think about this one. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on here, but okay. Okay.
So all we have to do is figure out how to get a rook over there. I could go here. He's going to need two moves. So I need to do it faster than two moves. Ooh, that's an idea because he can't take it. Or I, well, maybe he could take it. Hmm. Interesting. Um, two, three, four, three, four, four. I mean, I can always trade queens, but I really was thinking there was a way to, to get the rook there. But is there not a way to do that? Wow, I may have underestimated this move. I may have underestimated it. I mean, maybe I don't have to rush as much as I'm thinking because I will have this move available. So maybe I can take my time in getting this rook over there somehow. Like here. Although, is that easy to stop? Is that easy to stop? No, you can't really play f4, so maybe this is the way. For some reason, I thought it was going to be easier to attack. That's a good move, though, I guess, because it controls that key g6 square. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, he's going to do that. I'm going to go ahead, I think. Because I have the defensive move, and I'm threatening this, which is just... Well, it's not checkmate, actually, but it's pretty powerful. He's going to proactively defend. But now I can play h4. Yeah, h4 should do the trick. The rook comes over, we have rook b6. If the queen comes down, I think we just move here. I mean, I have to move there, but uh, I think that's the, the good move. And then he goes back. Ah, what do I do if he goes back? I have to play c6. Okay, this one we go here. This one, we can run this way. Okay, maybe I go c6 and then this way after the check down here. Yep, okay. Oh, but he has queen h4. I guess we can target this pawn, maybe? Like this? I don't want to trade too many pawns, but this one now is blocking off the bishop, so I think that was a smart one to do. He can't play b4, so I guess we can always defend the rook. Oh, he... Now this pawn is going to win for me.
All right, let's take a look. I think there's going to be some interesting mo moments to look at over there. 83.77, not too bad. So I, I think I am supposed, Stockfish is going to tell me to take it. Yeah, of course. But then you, you have to be willing to defend this. And I didn't know exactly how to do it. H6 or Bishop E7. Or F6. Yeah, I'm not going to play F6. There's no way I'm going to play F6. H6 maybe. I think I was probably going to play D6, honestly. Yeah, I'm already losing after Knight G5. See, that's why I didn't want to play it, because I didn't know what to do. Bishop e7, I guess, is what you needed to play to stop that. You still have to deal with this shenanigans. You castle. And it's just, uh, I guess this is not too bad. Yeah, this is okay. Anyway, I didn't want to deal with that, so I did this. All right, game goes on. Blah, 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 blah. So somebody asked about this. The problem here is after bishop g3, I don't have a follow-up. I mean, yeah, I can try to attack but it's too slow, and white's going to probably do something with this knight. And now the queen is hitting me, and I'm just losing. Okay, so that's why I didn't do that. But here, bishop d6. I was thinking about bishop d6. They're both pretty good, though. Okay. Okay. Why is that a blunder? Oh. It really wanted me to take with the pawn and open up the G file, which actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of attacking, right? I, I've said that to open up the files. So why not take an opportunity to do that? Yeah, okay. I missed that one. So here's what I was thinking. Yeah, this is what the engine is say saying. Queen B5. And if I go in the corner, there's always this check. So this is a perpetual check. So I have to go this way to get away from the checks. Engine, oh, engine is saying he still goes back here because he threatens checkmate. And it's still a draw. Interesting. What I was calculating that I was thought we were going to see was check here. Check here. And the reason is because if I take it, which I was going to do, um, there's a follow-up fork. I think I was going to do this one and then go here. So I was thinking like, okay, even though I've given back the rook for the bishop, look at his king. I just need to figure out how to get my rook over somehow and look at his king more you know, exposed than mine. That's kind of the idea. Although engine says it's just dead equal. Interesting. And if I don't take the bishop and go here, then it allows the queen to come in this way. And I lose this. Oh, it's defended. Sorry. Uh, this one. And then I guess I take with the king. Yeah, it's still it's still equal. Okay. So, but we didn't see that. We didn't see any of that. Yeah, queen takes e4 is a good move. Okay. All right. Another French. Nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try to turn it into like a King's Indian. Oh, he's just going to take it. Okay, well, never mind. Never mind. Let's play d4. We'll defend the knight like this. We will castle. We will... Pin the knight, play rook to e1, defend with the queen. We could do that. Yeah, let's, let's defend with the queen. Why not? Okay. Go ahead and play c3, protecting here. Bishop g5, I'm thinking about playing a rook e1. Bishop f4. Now we'll go bishop g5. We'll trade some stuff off. We'll play an endgame. I'm fine with that.
But yeah, we update the wins. Thank you guys. I'm just pre-moving this one. So when he takes here, I don't want my bishop to get stuck over here and get captured. For example, if I take here, takes, takes, boom, I lose a piece. So I'm just pre-moving this capture here. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you actually do that? If I take the queen, he takes the queen, I take it with... I guess he can. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Missed it. For some reason, I thought I was going to have a move here, but I guess I don't. Because... Oh, because it's with check... All right, well played by our opponent. It's not a huge deal, though, because it's kind of just like a gambit, so whatever, we lost a pawn. But in hindsight, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. So I messed that up a little bit. It's okay. So it's, it's only a pawn. But uh, going into the end game now, I probably should play a little more aggressively. So let's see if we can do that. We're going to jump the knight into the center. And I'm looking for opportunities to attack over here. Maybe even using the rook um, as well. So let's see how we can do that. A4, he's going to just play a5, so I'm not sure that that really helps me. Queen can come up and over. Might be something to consider. Um... Bum, bum, bum. I think this is too slow of a plan. I don't think I really want to do that. Let me play a4. He's going to play a5, and I'm still thinking. Still thinking. I missed the Greek gift. He's not going to play that. He's going to go c5. Interesting. So he's trying to attack here. Okay, fine. We can defend that tactically. So takes, takes, takes. We've got the sacrifice to win it back. So that's a different way to defend the pawn that you can use. Did we miss the Greek gift sacrifice? Did we? Right here? No, the problem here is I can't play knight g5. See? Which is a key move. So I don't think we missed it. I don't think so. Bum, bum, bum. So he's going pawn hunting. Okay. How can I? It's very difficult to. Um... Attack because this knight here. Knight is so powerful right now. So how do we deal with that? That's the question. And I don't actually know. I mean, I can go here. Yeah, I think I will go there. I don't know what else to do. I have to try to get rid of the knights so that we can use 
the queen and the bishop and potentially the rook. And I don't see a way to do that unless we get rid of the knight. So we're going to we're going to do this. Black can take with the rook if they want, but they have to be willing to allow me to open up the king. Which looks risky. Now it might be playable, so we might see this move. They could also trade here, but then they're going to have to defend. Okay, they're going to have to defend. So king over, they're getting out of the check, so there's no more tactic there. But... Um, I can go here, h6. I almost have an idea. I don't know if it works, though. On h6, can I do this move? Follow up queen g6, checkmate. King's going to run, though. King is going to run away. Ooh, hold on. I could throw in the check, uh, but then there's rook f7 I have to deal with too. Man, that's so close. I just think the king gets away. Queen goes back. Wow. Wow. What if I take it and then try to go here? Yeah, let's do it. I'm already kind of tilted, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it. I don't think it works, but we're gonna do it anyway. Have a little fun. We're gonna have a little fun. Dun, dun. It's a cool idea. Unfortunately, the king's going to escape, but it's a very nice idea. Yeah, I like sacrificing rooks this, this stream, huh? Who needs the rooks? You don't need the rooks. You don't need rooks to checkmate. Just stretching. I'm just stretching. I'm still here. Still here. Oh, he's afraid. He's afraid to take it. Look at that. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, now I'm wondering, can I go here? Threaten checkmate again? Because what's what is black going to do about that? You gotta play g6. Except g6 is a bad move because I win a rook. Did we just win a game with the rook sacrifice? Did we just win the game? I think we did. I think we did. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I tricked him. <laughs> hey, sometimes desperate times, desperate measures. Is that what the saying? We were a little bit desperate. So here we go. Here we go. That's a rook. Hey, Anthony. Thank you. You talk so well through your train of thought. Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Yeah, now we're going to take a rook for free here, I think, guys. Uh, the other thing we could do is check. Uh, 
I'm I'm like ninety percent sure Rook takes e six was a bad move. Uh, let's check the let's check the game. Let's just go straight into the review. Ninety percent sure it's a bad move. Oh, where's the? Uh, I want to see the little arrows on this one. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. So I blundered it. I even told you guys I got to watch out for this. And I, I just blundered this little uh, knight c6 idea. I guess because a lot of times the pawn's still on c2, so you don't actually lose a pawn. But in this case, it was there, and so I, I just kind of missed it. But, like I said, game goes on. What was I supposed to do here instead? You wanted me to take the queen? Oh... Oh. So you're saving your queen, but then black plays bishop e4, but then you play knight g5. Is this what you guys were talking about? And then you take this. Oh, wow, that's wild. That is wild. And you don't lose a pawn. <laughs> okay. There was a lot more going on in that position than I realized. Wow. There was a lot happening there, huh? Look at that. Okay, we missed all of that. Game goes on. Okay, great. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to do. Questionable move. All black had to do was take it. But they were afraid of my follow-up plan. But, oh, Stockfish with the Rook F5, sacrificing the Rook back, and now Black's just totally winning. I don't have anything. They still have the extra piece. So that was the Stockfish way, but what I was thinking was King G8. And yes, I can come in, but then they can just run away, and I don't really have a good follow-up, do I? Oh, check. King F6, Bishop H5. So it was trickier than I realized, but black should be doing better. Interesting. And then, of course, you could take here, but that doesn't really do much after this. You can go here, but then black's just going to defend. Let's say queen e7. And I guess three, four, five. Yeah, this is just losing. I'm just down a piece. That simple. Sometimes it pays off, though, you know? Opponent gets scared and makes a blunder. I did find the move here and here. And that's it. Yeah. Ah, there was mate. I was looking if there was mate instead of taking the rook. There was mate. Check. Oh, it's not even that. It's rookie seven. Oh, of course. You can't go there because it's checkmate. And if you do this, it's checkmate. Hmm. Hmm. Oof. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Sorry, I was reading a comment. Okay, let's let's jump into the next game. Somebody said, say potato if you see me. <laughs> let's go for a King's Indian, shall we? So you get the standard setup. You castle. Ah, H3. He's going to play G4 and try to attack us, I think. And what's the options here? Man, I can't. I need to go watch my own course. Seriously, I need to go watch it. I'm pretty sure we can do c6, a6, b5. Although I might be totally off. So there's there's a situation where you can play this way, and then there's a situation where it's it's like too slow, and you don't want to play that way. So we're gonna see if if this is a situation where I can get away with doing this or not. It's a different way. It's a, it's a way of approaching, uh, expanding on the queen side, I should say. And it looks like. White's trying to castle that way, so I'm sort of setting up already to attack that way, right? We've seen the, the king side attacks already in this series, and now maybe we're going to see the opposite one if black decides to do that. I think we're going to play b5 here. Notice we have lots of support from the pawns, and we're actually threatening to go here and win a pawn, so white has to do something about that. They take. All right, I'm going to take back 
This way, I want to open up my rook and sticks with the principle of taking towards the center. I guess you could argue this is not terrible because you could put your bishop there, but this is looks better. So now I'm thinking I'm going to play b4. Where's the knight going to go? Here. I don't have to go there immediately. I could save that for a different time. Knight e2. I don't have a way to win that just yet. Could also play knight a6, trying to hop in here. And if this happens, then we play b4. I could also relocate this knight like this. It should be seven and try to play c5 to win. I mean, there's so many things I don't actually know. Let's go ahead and develop the knight here. I'm still thinking if I want to play this or not. Looks like white's going to change their plan and now castle kingside. Kind of looked like they were going to go this way, but because of what we were doing, I think we scared them a little bit. Yep, there you go. Okay, so they go the other way. Probably a smart decision. And there's even e5, b4. The only thing about b4 is then I have to actually worry about the pawn just getting captured, maybe. Hey, Derek, thank you. Appreciate, appreciate the gifted membership. All right, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is not this is not a position that I'm familiar with. So I'm I'm just gonna develop the bishop there. I I don't really know if that's the right idea, but we're gonna just put it there for now. My position seems pretty solid the way that it is, so I don't feel like I have to rush to do anything. I, so I think I'm okay just playing a slow move like this. All right, so now is where it gets interesting. If we take, we're going to lose this pawn for sure. But we are winning a pawn here, it looks like. Eh, maybe not. Let's say takes, 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 takes. That actually looks pretty good. We might just take here immediately, though, but then we take here. So I'm, I'm leaning towards taking. But also b4. If they take us, we take them, threatening the queen. If they take the bishop, we take the queen. They get the rook. That's going to be a good trade for us. So takes b4, I think the knight would move somewhere. Maybe d5, then we could take here, but then we're going to lose the pawn, but then we take this. That also looks decent. Probably the simplest, though, is just go ahead and take. Jump in with the knight. That unleashes this guy. Sorry, unleashes this guy. I mean, you got to be careful putting your bishop on a undefended square like that. But I'm looking at the options for white, and I, I think we, we're okay. If he takes this one, I'm going to trade it here and open up the king. If he takes this one, probably just going to recapture. But I could also do this. Then it's going to get interesting. No, but then it's like a peace sacrifice. Yeah, so either way, probably have a nice follow-up by capturing.
Dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun. Okay. Okay. Interesting that White is thinking so long here. I was thinking that they would have thought about this before they, they decided to push the pawn, but maybe they didn't think this was an option because they thought they were going to have some tactic or something, and now they're realizing it's not really that good. I don't know. But we see the King's Indian Bishop finally in a game where it gets unleashed, and it's actually playing a significant role in the position. And... Okay, they do take it. Let's go ahead. Okay, so he saves the knight to avoid that, which is smart, I think. If we want to save this pawn, we could... No, then this. Okay, so this is where the game gets kind of difficult just because there's so many options. So many options. Like, for example, knight e5 and knight c5, definitely moves that I would like to play. Bishop c4, maybe it's an option. Queen a5, maybe it's an option. B4 might even be an option, like just sacrificing it, and then I don't know if there's a follow-up after that. Well. I mean, I like, I like this, because then it threatens to go here. Bishop takes, I could still go there, and I would get the bishop pair. Pretty nice, three for five, three for five, it's even. We can attack these two pawns. We definitely like that one. This one is different because then the knight would jump here. I don't know if I like that as much, so I'm leaning towards knight e5. Bishop c4, though, takes, takes. Maybe we're just winning a pawn, but the question is what happens after knight takes here? Takes, takes. We can grab that. Is there a follow-up for white? I don't really see one, so maybe we just win the pawn that way. Is that better? I don't know. Ah, but the other way, that then we have a fork. Yeah, I do like that. I, do, I think I do like this move. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do this one. Could be wrong, but uh, I like the idea that it looks like I'm going to win the bishop pair. It's going to be an open position. Bishop pair on an open board means there's going to be lots of opportunities for my bishops to do amazing things. And so I think that forcing this trade is good. And also, like I said, opening up the position opens up the diagonals, which we're probably going to see here in a few moves. Rook takes a2. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's, I guess that is an obvious move, isn't it? Rook takes a2. Didn't even cross my mind. Resign before you lose. <laughs> okay, so they do take it. And... I think I'm going to go here. Oh, I forgot about the knight that's going to be just sitting there. So that's actually better than I even realized. So they wouldn't be able to do that. They'd have to move the queen somewhere. Huh. Okay. Still looks like a good move. I just forgot that I was forking these guys. That's even better. Even better. Did 
They might just move the queen. But then I'm happy because I get rid of that bishop. And we've talked about it before. When you play the King's Indian, if you can never trade a knight for that dark squared bishop, this guy is basically unopposed for the rest of the game. And you, you can just sit, sit there and be a very powerful piece for a long time. You never have to worry about it getting traded off. So that's pretty good. Of course, we can take a pawn, but uh, I'm really leaning towards the long-term bishop pair, get rid of that dark squared bishop. I think that's better. Okay, he does do that. Yeah, we, we can do this as well. Takes... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the bishop out of there. I, I just I think that's a good decision. And if he takes the queen, we can still grab the pawn. Okay, he takes that way, but now I can play something like queen b6, and I'm piling on here, the pressure. I guess we can also grab the pawn, but I'm going to focus on more active piece play than, than pawn hunting right now, so I'm going to go queen b6. Just trying to build up the pressure. I could even sack this. Let's say a3 is played. Takes. Check. Grab this bishop. Looks pretty good. I'm expecting a3 or a4, probably a3. I mean, the issue with that is I have to give up my amazing bishop to do that, but I am winning this pawn and then simplifying a little bit. Hmm. What's the other option? He goes for a4, okay. More aggressive approach. Um, yeah, do I want to simplify into that endgame or not? Question. And it looks pretty good for me, actually. It looks it looks pretty good. Just checking. Oh, there's a fork, though. There's a fork. Uh, hold on, hold on. Ah, I didn't see that before. Okay. Okay, let's not do that then. Maybe we go here then to stop that. Now we have that covered. So what I was looking at is after takes, takes, check. Let's just say the king moves. I take this. There's going to be knight to c7. And then I have to lose my bishop, and I don't actually know how good that endgame was. I liked it when I could keep my bishop. I was thinking, like, we can get a queen-bishop battery, and that was going to be really powerful. But I didn't like the knight fork. <sighs> yeah, rook a5. Maybe makes some sense too. Okay, he saves that and he gets out of there. I'm also thinking bishop b3 to attack the pawn this way. I couldn't do. I mean, I want to keep an eye on this. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Probably play bishop f6 is a pretty simple solution. 
shut down the threat. And now we can again think about taking this. Actually, that wasn't as dangerous as it looked because I could always have played king h8, but still, why allow that to happen if I don't have to, right? Now we could take it and win the pawn because it is still defended temporarily. Could also just take this one. Then I walk into the pin. Is that okay? Hold on. Ooh, it's actually kind of tricky. I don't know that I like that. All right, let's take this one. Maybe, maybe I could have gotten away with it, but it was going to get pretty tricky. There was like some some tactics building there that I was a, a little bit concerned about. Okay, I didn't see that one. Did not see that one. Okay, that was a good move, I guess, by our opponent. Deal with the threat here. Let's deal with the threat here. Let's go for the attack here. This is an interesting position. We got the two and two, and he hangs the queen. He hangs the queen. Okay. I don't know. I guess I just push this. I guess we just push it. That's a pin. Let's go ahead, get the pawns rolling here. All right, good game to our opponent. That was a tough game. Um, let's see if we missed anything there at the end. We did it. We got to 2025, even though it was a rough start. It was a rough start. Yeah, so maybe this is not the line when I'm supposed to do this. Although it turned out okay. We got into a decent posi position out of the opening. Then I wasn't sure what to do, and then yes, okay. What does old Mr. Stockfish say? B4. B4. I guess I was thinking that they were going to... Oh, they. I said no, they couldn't do that, so yeah, they do have to move this. And then you take. Because now you can take back, either way really. And you didn't lose a pawn, you just won a pawn. Yeah, that makes sense. So I should have played b4 first. And I should have just grabbed the pawn. Yeah. But there was a time to just take the pawn and be happy, and I didn't really do it. Okay. It was going to be interesting if they played like. Um, like a better move, a like queen d1, let's say. Because I think what I was going to do is trade and then play like d5. And we were going to get the four against the two and two, which is actually really interesting. Especially if they do this. This is a very interesting position. I don't actually know what's going on here. I think I was going to probably start pushing these guys. And I wonder what happens in this position. Yeah, I really wonder what happens here. They have to stop this. But then I can go defend. They can push. Looks like white's winning somehow. Yeah, because these yeah, those pawns are dangerous. Already had the rook behind it. 
So I was going to have to be very careful in that scenario. Hmm. What about something like... Yeah, because if I attack like this, they just keep pushing. It's, it's so difficult to stop these pawns. That's incredible. Look at that. The power of the rooks behind those past pawns like that. It's going to be very dangerous for me. Hmm. So maybe I you use the king. Is that do you have time to do that though? No, it doesn't even look like you have time. You just get into trouble. Oops. You just get into trouble. Look at that. The king doesn't even make it in time. Although, wait a second. Is this playable? Oh. Yeah, okay. That's not really good. <laughs> Interesting position. Very interesting position. All right. We did it, guys. We got to 2030. It wasn't easy, though. It was not easy. But here we are. Wins 236. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody. And I do apologize for flooding your home screen recently with all the videos. I didn't think about that when I uploaded, like, 15 videos or whatever in, like, two hour period. I apologize, but most people already unsubscribed for that. So it's the, I think I lost like several hundred subscribers in a period of a few hours. It's funny. It's never happened before, but it makes sense. I didn't realize that YouTube was literally going to throw up every single video on somebody's home screen. I thought it was just going to like choose one, you know, but no, it like put them all. So I can definitely understand why that would be annoying to some people. So I apologize if that was you. I wasn't trying to uh, spam everybody with my videos. Do a video on how to rucksack mind game, <laughs> rucksack mind games. Yeah, uh, I don't know, Rob. That's that's a hard one. That is a hard one. I read this book called How to Be Lucky in Chess, and it actually told some stories of situations exactly like that rook sacrifice where somebody played a move that just looked so powerful that the opponent was like oh i can't take it and they did something else even though the best move was to just take it so it's funny that that, that happened send the game to gotham chess yeah <laughs> Next chess adventures needs to have Peter Potzer eat some rice. That's a good idea. Peter Potzer buys a rice cooker. <laughs> How are you handling the gout? Good. It's getting better little by little, I think. I haven't had any major attacks in a while, which is a good sign. But uh, in general, it's just going to be a long... I was doing a bunch of research on that, that, that healing from gout, uh, especially like naturally with diet changes, it's... It's like a several month process. It doesn't just happen overnight. So I'm going to have to kind of watch that for the next several months. But otherwise, feeling feeling pretty good. Mr. Potzer. So Peter Potzer. That's Peter Potzer. Peter Potzer is on the other channel, Chess Adventures, which... Um, I don't even I don't think it's actually linked. Here, I'll I'll link it for you guys because I know uh, some people asked about that before. Mm, dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the chat if you want to go check it out. It's right here. Just adventures. It's it's basically they walk around the island and they have to solve chess puzzles to get places and do things and get off the island centrally. Just like a fun thing. No, I'm not doing a puzzle. I have to go eat lunch and do. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little leg exercising, whatever I can do. So thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Go check out uh, the chess adventures if you want. You can also get your t-shirts. There's a Peter Potzer and then there's also... Bobby Fisherman. I have Bobby over here too.
All right, guys. Take it easy. Stay sharp. Play smart. Take care. See you, Rob. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you.